Hello, and welcome to the final episode of Super Mario Bros. Doomsday. We have completed all of the levels, found all the switches and secrets and whatnot, and even defeated the underwhelming final boss of fucking Bowser Jr. <laughs> in a repeat boss fight, but I'm digressing. Aside from, of course, preventing the Doomsday, we've done everything we can do. Except for one little thing. We never did get all the dragon coins, and as I have mentioned briefly before, unlike the original Super Mario World, they'd actually matter in this game. So if you manage to go into every single level and get all the dragon coins, all five of them, and every single one of them, this guy here will say something special. I think he mentioned before something about the dragon coins, so that's kind of the hint that you want to come back and talk to him. There's a lot of fucking dragon coins, and a lot of them are actually kind of well hidden. And you can probably tell by my playtime that, well, I didn't do that myself. <laughs> yes, this is a, just a special file delivered just for me. It, it has its advantages to personally know and befriend the developer of the game when there's something difficult to do, so you don't actually have to do it yourself. It's a nice thing. Speaking of the developer of the game... Hey, Ben! Wow, amazing! You've collected all the dragon coins! Every level up to this point has tested you and have you succeeded. So now I challenge you to complete one final level. The ultimate level. If you, if you complete this level, you can watch an alternate level of the level. No, sorry. Uh, take this level. <laughs> and enter the locked door in the Totan Infirmary. We wish you good luck. Okay! Thanks for just walking away dramatically like that. And then coming back. Totown inf Infirmary. Oh, speaking of infirm inf bleh, infirmaries, this save file that I've received is... It has everything completed in it. All the dragon coins collected, obviously, and all of the exits and everything is done. So, with that in mind, I took a little look around, not everywhere, mind you, but the places that I were genuinely curious about. Um, I couldn't find any more infirmaries, so that kind of tells me that there probably are only the two that we've found, which is a little bit strange, because if you get a game over in the forest maze, for example, you probably have to go all the way back from the world one, which can kind of suck. But hey, whatever. Here, we have a red door and a red key. They fit together. They're, there's for some reason a checkpoint. Interesting. Ultimate run en entrance. That doesn't sound scary at all. Tip for the road, this pipe will take you to the ultimate run. Good luck! Mm-hmm. Your prize for getting all of the dragon coins in the game is to most likely get your ass kicked. Welcome to the ultimate run. This challenge collect clocks to add to the time. Oh. Oh boy! Uh, there sure is a timer, isn't there? Well, actually, one very important thing I want to note. I'm going to be playing as Mario for once. Remember how I've praised all this time that... Okay, let me get used to the buttons again. There we go. <laughs> I play, I've praised all this time that Ben really... Um, he really... Sh oh, hey, flower, that's gonna be nice. I really loved how... Well, this is gonna be difficult. I really loved how the level seemed to be designed with the fact that you can change characters in mind. Turns out, that's most likely just kind of a happy... That was bullshit! Okay. That was kind of just a happy accident. Luigi was basically an afterthought. <laughs> All the levels were designed purely with Mario in mind, and the times that I've praised Ben for otherwise... ...have, you know, as I said, kind of just been- Oh, time! Oh, shit! I thought I was doing so well. This game was by all means designed with just Mario in mind, and according to Ben... That really particularly- No, come on! That really particularly shows in this level, and if I decide to play as Luigi, I might have a particularly hard time. Okay, kind of a dick move, but whatever, it works. This level is supposed to be super difficult, so it's fine, I guess. Oh boy. Oh boy, it really is. Is this death? Yeah. The graphics seems to be a little bit glitched up on that, but it looked deadly. Or rather, well, I wouldn't say it actually looked deadly, but it looked too simple not to be deadly. <laughs> Wait, oh! I guess it isn't a dick move. It's how, 
Okay, I understand now. I'm supposed to bring Yoshi over here. Nice! I wasn't expecting something that nice. Oh. Okay. Ben, you know you know what? Challenge accepted. I don't mean just a challenge in the level, because I already, you know, started that, so that's kind of obvious that it's accepted. I mean, fuck off, Mario! I'm being Luigi! I've died so many times now, just because Mario doesn't jump at all. You'd think a fucking jump man would be able to jump simple jumps. What the... What did Yoshi just eat? <laughs> Weird. Need the clock, need the clock, please leave! Okay, here we go. I'm afraid to find out what that uh, bl question block I skipped over is. I don't really care to find out. Oh, I can get this! Okay, fuck out Yoshi. Just hur hurry up. I probably just wasted time doing that ultimately, but it was worth trying, I guess. Okay, right now this isn't so bad. I can use the Yoshi. I can lose the Yoshi for a second if I get him back. Oh boy, okay. Oh, do chompers not hurt you from the side? Oh, I like that! That's probably been the case all the time, but that's... I've never been in a situation where I've been forced to notice. <laughs> oh, boy. There we go. That could have worked out better. Get the feather, please. Gosh, my boy. Hey. How... Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry for just spouting nonsense, but I'm really about to die from time because I have five seconds left. Shit. Timer, 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 timer. Oh, my gosh. Jesus. Pipe Mace! You can't do that! That's just stupid! No! I don't agree with it th this at all! Not when you're, you're on a fucking timer! This is a terrible idea, Ben. No. Bad. You- Oh, I ran out of time in the pipe. Oh. <laughs> that was dumb. Oh, hang on. This is enough space. Nice! I can just fly this. Actually, the- Wait, was that clock just in the middle of the air, in, you know, for the sake of people doing what I'm doing now? I don't know, whatever. Ugh, into the stupid pipe maze. At least now I have more time. Let's go into the blue one first. I kinda don't entirely know where my- Oh, fuck off. Where my end goal is here. Um... Can I even get into any of these gray ones? Well, okay, there we go. That wasn't so bad. Checkpoint! In that ca- Oh, I have time. Um, in that case, I'm going to save my progress. Hope the checkpoint works. It does. There's just kind of a boo here. In this challenge, defeat the boo in three final races to the finish. Oh, boy. What is this? Respawn block? Return to Toad Town. Oh, okay. I'm glad I read before trying. I guess I should totally just- Well, I can't just totally just fly this. Never mind. Whoa, my, my- Oh, no, I should have spin jumped. Shit. Still though, as usual, super tricky stuff. Really, really excited about that. I mean, as I have proclaimed before, Ben has really good level design. When he wants to, sometimes it's not as good, but for the most part, it's really good. He... And it's not just a matter of, you know, when he tries to be difficult, that's when it fails or anything. No, he has really good difficult level design a lot as well. Um, in particular, the um, yellow part with... I should have been jumped! Okay, thank god the ghost is, uh, not hurting me. In particular, the area, the yellow one from the Mayan underground place, I forget the name or anything, but that place in particular was really fucking tricky and I loved it, it was super well designed. Uh, so far this is seeming to follow that same pattern. I shouldn't have jumped there, sorry, I thought I could have gone on the top of it. Where this actually seems really well designed. Now, I'm going to try again to just cheat this, because aside from that boo ring, if you can just get over that, then cheating is not a problem in the slightest. And especially once I've already done it once, I have no problem cheating at all. I don't feel any more- oh shit, well, whatever, I have plenty of time now, and- I deserve that. I deserve that! Never mind! <laughs> this was a terrible idea. Now that I managed to keep my feather, now I can definitely just cheat this area. Because I don't think this area had any ceilings. This is where I died, and this is stuff that didn't actually seem that difficult anyway. Oh! Okay, I believe I won now that the... Now that I have, um... 
What am I trying to say now that I've hit the block? So, oh, okay. So I don't think I can, like, run out of time now. So what is this thing here for? I can't run out of time? But I beat him already. That's stupid. I have a lot of good things to say about this level so far, but that was stupid. <laughs> you know, one relief about a level like this is I probably don't need to look for any secrets. I've kind of found all the secrets I need to find already. <laughs> okay, this should be the final race, right? Yes, the boo is waiting. There are no power-ups here, but the well, there's a mushroom here, actually. That's nice. Uh, I'm not going to fly on the first attempt, because I do want to give this, you know, an honest effort and see how things would go if I had, you know, done things without just cheating. <laughs> Because you're not always going to be doing this while cheating, you know? Oh, that was a bad idea. Shit. You tricked me! There we go. There's nothing here so far that I would classify as... Oh, I did mean to start flying, sorry. Whoa, okay, what is going on here? No, I should have spin jumped. There's one thing I kinda dislike... Oh, boy, that is tricky! Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know what to say, oh my god. This is just all super tricky stuff. Um... There's just one thing I kind of dislike. I'm not sure how you would improve on this, but it just kind of sucks when you do a jump that you think is safe and then you realize only mid jump that, oh shit, I should have spin jumped. Because oftentimes you will. Oh, I, there I should not have spin jumped. Oftentimes I just do the normal jump because it flies further. Uh, well, not flies further, but uh, jumps higher and things. I was just thinking of flying and flying on my brain. Oh no. Oh no. I need to do this normally, no! No, I've already done this before, this is no problem at all. That was a- That was fucking stupid. Fine, I'll take it. No, actually I won't, fuck off. <laughs> I'm not gonna take it when it comes down to bullshit! Okay, I'm going to be fair, as I often try to do, not always. I'm going to fly, but only to the point where I died, you know, so it's still- Okay, I guess that works too. <laughs> Because, like, the point where I died... No, 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 I panicked. The point where I died seemed like really tricky stuff. Oh, there's the there's the ghost boy, man. It looks more like a boy than a man, actually. I sh probably should have gone up here a second ago. Yeah, that's how you would get on this diagonal block here. And then... Actually, you get an opportunity to start spin jumping because of that sprawling platform there. That is actually really good level design. That's really thoughtful. <laughs> so, I guess with this example, I need to take back what I said about realizing you should have spin jumped mid air. Wow! Uh. Holy fuck, this is so. I'm getting the same experience as I had with that yellow room that I mentioned before. The one final place in the Mayan underground place. Where I'm having a really hard time and I'm loving it. Okay, are we nearing the- yeah! Okay, here we go! Wow! This level is so well designed that it's just exciting to get through. Okay. Ah, here's the obvious ultimate run music, here we go. Is this back to Toe Town? Yes, do not accidentally grab that. Although we did just get a checkpoint, so I guess it wouldn't be the end of the world. This is it, the final challenge of the ultimate run. Get through the castle without being hit. Oh boy, is this- is this pipe? Oh, that's a very purple pipe. I don't know, but this pi this pipe stands out to me, but... Are we gonna, like, lose the power-up? Yeah, there we go. Wow, I didn't know you could do- Hang on! Do you re <laughs> In that last ghost house, was I losing my power-ups because of that? Was there just- Okay, the guy just went on the ceiling, that's fine. The fact that I kept losing the power-up that I went into with- with on the last castle, I... they were far too far down. Was that on purpose? The fact that I kept losing my power-up? Oh no, I forgot to save! Oh wait, well, actually, it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> it would have mattered if I needed to keep my power-ups, but keeping my power-up is kinda the point. Hang on, couldn't I just bring a feather? I'm actually kinda thinking that I probably could, but I... WON'T?! That was stupid! I keep using that word and I need to expand my vocabulary, but that was... Bad hitboxing. 
that was also bad hitboxing. But talking about hitboxing got me reminded reminded me of one kind of interesting fact. We're actually playing this right now on version 1.5 for once. Which is, uh, at the moment of recording this, it's the latest version, but who knows what, what it'll be in the future. That was stupid. <laughs> you know, Ben did once claim that version 1.4 was going to be the last one, but... It's it's difficult to just let something completely go, you know, and suddenly there's something that you want to improve on or fix on or anything like that, and then why not, you know? I think uh, the same thing happened to Smash. There was like, um, this is going to be the final update, and then they updated the game twice again after that. <laughs> what? what? What killed me there? He's even in the hit position. <laughs> As usual, football guy's giving me a really hard time. Also, I just noticed this play doesn't have a timer. Um, I don't mind this level at all so far, it seems nice and all. I just don't like this football guy, but I guess the problem has been that I haven't been waiting for him to just glitch up. <laughs> Clearly, I should have done so, but here we go. Could you even make that as Mario? I'm having my doubts about that. Honestly, uh, Ben? Why do you think Luigi makes things harder? He really doesn't, so far at least. I'm going to... Assume I, I don't think I will need a springboard, but I'm going to bring it with me anyway, because what if it does? Beep! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! No, 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 no. I panicked again. <laughs> Could you tell? <laughs> Hang on, is that this? Is that the saw that's gonna come up here? No, it, it, there is a different one. Weird, I've never seen that other saw that comes there. Anyway, thank god this isn't the hello engine. We would have been in serious trouble then. That wasn't meant to sound so stupid, but it did. <laughs> okay, oh boy. Okay, this one, this jump, switch character. Because I don't want to be slippery when doing this. Oh my gosh, oh, here we go. I... <laughs> okay, there's something important I need to know. Will inventory items disappear as well? They actually will. Ben did think about that, which I'm glad. I'm a little bit bummed that I can't cheat the level, but it would have been cheating, so that's why it doesn't bother me that much. <laughs> okay, screw Mario, he just makes everything worse. I'd like to try something though, if maybe I could jump close enough so the thumb falls down, allowing me to get at least that kind of head start? I don't know, that, I felt like that helped. The same is going to be difficult to pull off here though, so I don't think I'm going to bother trying, I'll just do this. That's good enough. That wasn't good enough. <laughs> Here we go. Now we're on a good path. Sort of. What's up there? Is my aim to get upwards or to just get forwards? For that matter. Okay. How about I spin like this? No, that could have worked if I timed it better. And it looks like I'm supposed to be going upwards. Here we go. That works. I see some blocks to the right there that... Okay, that's a pipe I need... Is that the end though? Okay, um, whoa, well, 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 there's a switch! I can probably just hit that and not bother trying to carry it. Um, I want to try and get the thorn to fall down and go like so. X! No! Almost excellent! I didn't notice those, uh, helping blocks there until it was too late. Hey, guess who's hit the switch right? Yeah! Here we go! Is this the end? The, the last trial? Didn't we just do the last trial? Also, did I hear a checkpoint sound? Is this another just return to Toad Town? Yeah, I would think so. Okay, we have Saws and Mario statues. This, whoa, could be dangerous. I'm not gonna dare try to save the game yet. What? Okay, well, now I'm gonna be kinda annoyed if that wasn't a checkpoint sound I heard. It was! In that case, how about I just save the game? Amazing. It's, um,. Well, actually, now I can just go get a power-up again. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> no reason for me not to. Oh, wait, huh? What? Oh, I don't get a power-up. Shit. That kind of threw a wrench into my plans, but it wasn't entirely unexpected, I'll admit. Uh, what is a bit unexpected is that this... Saw here didn't want to be spin jumped on, and that's potentially awkward. Let's just stay on this side then, I guess. 
Oh, actually, uh, being small kind of helps in this area, since the fire won't reach me. There we go. You know, tricky stuff, but nicely done and all. I've been a huge... Fan of this level so far. Um, I just gotta be thrown off by that guy. I always get panicked by the Potoboo guys, or whatever those are called. As you can probably tell, as you've probably been able to tell for a while. <laughs> is that... I know that their movement is very predictable, but I still have a hard time working around it and seeing where they're going to go. <laughs> it's kind of like with the Paratroopers, where I know what I should be doing, but I find it difficult. Except I think the Paratroopers are a lot more annoying, and but they're also more frequently used, so maybe that's just why. Maybe if the Fire Guys were also used more frequently, I would have hated them equally as much. I kind of doubt it, but maybe. You never know. I'm gonna go up, uh, sort of gradually like this, to make the fire be in a more favorable location for me, maybe. Because I, I have the time to do so, there's no timer in this level, and is it gonna- WHAT?! Okay. Sorry, level. I just meant to- I just wanted to make you easier. For me, and not really in a way that I would think breaks- breaks <laughs> the level in any way. But no, apparently the game clearly disagrees. Now, I would assume the thing with the saw, the reason that I can't really spin jump on it, there's been a lot of problems like this, where things that move upwards generally don't like existence. Okay, I can do this if I just sort of... Whoop! There we go. Oh my gosh, camera! <laughs> Maybe I should not have the camera panned in the, an unfavorable way. I don't know why, but I begin to take a shine to the word favorable. Okay, y'all just fall down there, please. Or bounce fucking wall jump? That doesn't seem fair to me. Oh wow. Oh wow, this looks like it's gonna be something super tricky. I need to use this platform in some way. Oh my god, Ben. What are you... Oh, I see now. I got terrified, so I just jumped up ahead. Because I kind of, for some reason, thought that the little uh, rocks you could see on the sides of the walls... I had a hunch, for some reason, that they were going to teleport me, and that I needed to hit those. I'm definitely glad I was wrong on that part. Y you see, you see it to the right there, that's why I thought it, because it sort of stood out and looked weird to me. Okay, we go down, and don't immediately, but maybe more immediately than that. Yay! I made the fire glitch! I love doing things like that. <laughs> okay, so I need to do this very quickly after touching the platform, but not immediately. Something like, not that, but that almost worked! Oh yes, I jumped! I just need to time it t a tiny bit differently. But now, I have a good idea of how to get on the platform, I just need to improve how to get off it. Yes! That's it! Wow, that's a rush. <laughs> okay, just avoid the fire guy. Run up! No, another fire guy! Wow, can you tell this level excites me? <laughs> I would have loved it if the dry bones had started going up the wall. Okay, be careful of the other fire guy. He's gonna come down, and we'll just do the same thing as we did with the other fire guy. Wait for him to go at a good direction like so. And now there shouldn't be any more fire guys? Okay. Ah! Good thing I'm tiny. <laughs> That's mean. <laughs> I mean, it, it isn't actually mean, because you're tiny anyway. There's no way you could get, like, you know, a cheap shot out of that. It's just to freak you out, and it's... <laughs> I like it a lot. It's great! No, I'm dead! I should have been more... What? What is that shit? Oh my god, what the fuck is gonna happen? Here we go. Taking things slow usually helps. Okay. We just need to think about what we're doing here. Run! <laughs> that's what we're doing! Okay. How far this is we? Okay, that's fine. That's not a problem. Not a problem in the slightest. Can the, this be a power-up? No. I wouldn't, ex I wouldn't expect so, but I could be hopeful, you know. I want to point out something that it's kind of a re-pointing re out, but it really needs saying. 
What about this makes- what about Luigi makes it more difficult in this level? I really have to disagree with that, Ben, although... I wouldn't be- Go down, Thwomp! Okay, I wouldn't be surprised if Ben told me to play as Mario because it's harder. <laughs> and like, no, don't play as Luigi, he's harder! Yeah! Not like he's just objectively a better character or anything. <laughs> Uh, that is by far the easiest way to deal with this falling platform, is to just do a short hop immediately after landing on it. It's a lot easier than actually waiting for some sort of timing before running. Uh, it makes it so you don't need to figure out any sort of timing or anything, because there's been a lot of attempts where I've been just too quick or just too slow. But if you just do a short hop immediately, the timing is pretty sound. Okay, let's stay ahead of the game. Ahead by, by which I mean uh, uh, staying in the front of the... <laughs> it was in me there for a second. Okay, come on, fall down! The thwomps fall down at a very uncomfortably close proximity to the character. And admittedly, I did have some trouble with the thwomps in the previous room as well. So I feel like it's an, it's another good example of the design not being at fault here at all. Because I don't think putting thwomps there is unfair or even a bad idea, but they don't really work the way at least I would expect them to. And maybe I have too high expectations, but <laughs> I don't know. Oh no! <laughs> the poo things! Um, got dear spin jump? Yeah, okay. That worked out. No, 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 don't turn. Oh no, this does not work out. Okay, now it kind of works out. Except, no, the side's faster than the dry bones. So, well, I can get them as far to the side as possible, and then now they're just not even a problem anymore. But again, would they just fall off? Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. It was funny though. There is one thing I greatly dislike about this level, but it's not something about this level in particular. It's a very general thing that I don't like about a lot of levels, which I believe I have expressed before as well, but this time it's really burning in my heart. <laughs> it takes way too goddamn long to retry. It's the thing. See, this beginning part here is no problem. I can't remember the last time I died to this. Because once you do this a few times, you've, you've proven your worth. It's not difficult anymore. It just becomes a nuisance to have to redo all the time, and it takes way too long. Especially in a level like this that's designed in a way, in a way that you can't rush through. You need to actually take your time and wait for a lot of things. Which makes it all take extra long. And it's just like... <sighs> what keeps killing me are these things really late in the level, but I need to redo all the easy beginning parts before I can try that again. And it feels very... Frustrating to not be able to just get right back into the action. Oh, what? Yeah. That was stupid. <laughs> I've done that jump so many times, and that has never happened before. That's stupid. No. Oh. Wait. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I need to try this. I need to see if I can just cheat that jump and just jump to whatever was to the right there. I need to know! <laughs> I need to know now, so that I can be done having to redo this stupid intro part. <laughs> what in the... <laughs> I hit the X, uh, Z button completely by accident and suddenly I'm up here and I, I'm kind of afraid to do anything! Wait, I moved to the left! That doesn't make any- What the hell was I standing on then? That is- This game is so weird. And I hate redoing this! Okay, you don't understand my frustration right now because you have not spent the last fucking hour just in this last trial? That is ridiculous! It's not fun! I cannot stress how well designed this level otherwise is. But god fucking, it's just boring! I'm tired! I want to stop! <laughs> You're not... By making me redo all this shit over and over and over again! You're not engaging me! You're making me want to shove your game up your ass! Which doesn't really work because it's not a physical copy, so I just have to shove my health cooking computer up your ass! Would you like that? No, I don't think so. 
Unless you're into that. Some people probably are. That wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. And you know, no, no disrespect intended if you do. Okay, it's time. I'm deathly afraid to pull this off. Because I know that if I fail, I need to redo all this shit again, but... Considering what's possibly at stake... Yeah! Oh, hey. Yeah. Still, what matters is that it works. I just need to be careful of one enemy, and then there's this pipe. This pipe might, for all I know, be the exit. I am really... Really hoping that it is. Yes? Come on, Mario statue, give me good news! What is that up there? There was definitely some sort of thing there. Come! Gra! To! La! Excellent, 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 excellent. Thank you. I want to stress something. One final thing before we end this off is that when I complain about having spent more than an hour in this, just just in this final trial here, I want to stress that I try to show f as much as possible only progress, so I didn't waste too much time showing areas that I've already been to and things like that. So that kind of gives you an idea. Considering how much you've actually seen, it hasn't been terribly long in the video, I should think. It's been very long for me, and that kind of shows how much time was wasted just because I had to redo earlier parts. And that is one reason why I find it very, very frustrating. Anyway, this better be good. You're true, you are truly a master player. Kudos to you for making it this far. Fucking thanks! I don't give a shit about your kudos, they're worth nothing to me! Okay, at least I get a final one-up in the game, as if I need it. Okay. Okay. This better be goddamn worth it! What could you possibly give me that I would appreciate now that I've done everything in the game? Well, credits, that's nice, I guess. I again. I mean, by the time you get this far- is that- what? <laughs> That's 2010! No way! Hey, there's me again. You will not say a hunt. <laughs> um, Ben, why are you showing screenshots of 2000 and- is this like a flashback, you know, see how far have we come? We started with whatever the hell this is. Actually, these screenshots make this game make 2010 look, you know, fair and alright and all. I wouldn't recommend watching my playthrough in particular because I hate it, but mm, I recommend trying out the game. You don't need to finish it or anything, but you'll. Oh, this is a uh, 2011. Um, you can see the difference between what's 11 and 10 by the fact that 11 has a yellow HUD, but 10 has a blue one. Uh, there's also things like those uh, cosmic coin counters or whatever they're called uh, and also in general 2011 is a better game <laughs> okay Whew. coming down this is it the final thing whoa whoa I never saw this in 2011 that's making me curious to try and see what that's about <laughs> no as I've said though oh is that the stupid boss that I fought already in this game Fuck off, blooper guy! Voice Charles Martinet. Again, I don't think he's the only voice in the entire game. Um, okay. So finally, th this time I mean it when I say, we're done. <laughs> I have to say, despite a lot of- Oh, I didn't know the propeller she was in that game. Oh wait, this is- No, this is 2012, never mind. I keep getting sidetracked. Um, this game? I have to say, I have played pretty much all of them 2D Mario platformers, and I like them. As I've said a lot of times, they're not my favorite genre at all. I get easily somewhat bored with them, and while I like them, it's extremely rare for me to play a 2D Mario platformer more than once. But this game, I have to admit, this is probably the best 2D Mario game 
that I've ever played. I'm I'm being completely serious about that, and it's not even made by Nintendo. At all. What the? I didn't get that screen! Well, maybe that's on purpose. Maybe I'm getting it now. And that's, you know, that's the... whatever. Press enter. This game is actually fantastically designed. And especially this last level, despite my extreme frustrations towards the end, this is... Ex this is exceptionally designed, honestly. Just this final level as well. It's... Def it's the most difficult, by all means, no doubt about that. And... It's by... it's by, by far not the level that's frustrated me the most in a genuine sort of... I dislike this kind of way, you know? I've been frustrated, obviously, by the fact that it is difficult and it's taken me a while and all. But it's a completely different frustration when you... when it's caused by, well, good design and bad design. It's a very, very different experience. And of course, this game is by no means flawless. There's been several levels that I've been very iffy about. Probably a level or two that I've downright disliked. I can't think of any right now. Which, you know, goes to show how much the bad levels impact the game. You know, not a lot. The good levels really outweigh the bad ones. But I've been rambling. I'm curious to see what happens when you press enter. Okay. The music's back to normal. Toadsworth is doing the same. Okay, I guess I'll ask Ben then. What do you have to say? Why is Luigi not running? Wow, amazing. You managed to collect all the dragon coins. I guess he did tell me that the reward was watching an alternate version of the credits, but that's still a little bit... I mean... Okay, I'm not gonna say I'm disappointed, because I have no clue what else you could possibly put in to make it you know, worth it. I kind of had an idea as like, okay, what if this allows me to play as a different character? Like, what if I could play as Wario or something, for example? That would be kind of cool. I mean, uh, Wario and Waluigi kind of dropped the whole Doomsday Alliance. They kind of... I, I got the impression that they sort of gave up on that since they gave us the green key at all. What if they actually joined our, our side against Bowser in some way? Because, you know, they realized that Bowser wouldn't actually share any of his wealth with them or anything like that. So maybe they would have gone against him so that they, that they instead could uh, um, you know, rule the world or something. I don't know. It would've been kinda cool, I feel like Wario would've been able to play very differently from Mario and Luigi. But then there's also the idea that we've, you know, by the point you- by the time you get to this point in the game, there won't be anything else for you to do, so there won't be any incentive to actually play as Wario or Luigi or anything. It could be cool, I don't know, but I got my hopes up. <laughs> anyway, that, at long last, is actually it. As far as I can tell, there is nothing- Actually, no! Hang on! There's one little thing. I noticed this when I loaded up this new save file. Let me go back to the final world. There's a star here. This was actually here when I loaded up the save file, but I would kind of assume that this is something that you get for beating the, the ultimate run. Oh, what the- what the- whoa! Oh, is this just a music player? No, this is... Oh shit, never mind. Now I'm disappointed. <laughs> that star is just the way to get back to the Mayan underworld. Wait, this music is different. Why? It's weird. Um, I, that's right, because I never grabbed that. Uh, uh, no, I, I don't mean to say never. I did grab it. But then I also got a game over and reset the game or something like that. So I didn't get it then. I forget. It was something like that, but... I can't exit the level, so I guess this is where we're ending things off. Except maybe I can just die. I'd rather be on the world map, it feels more comfortable to me. No. We're stuck here again. So we actually have to beat the mine underworld in other- well, subworld, sorry. Oh wait, no, is this back to Toad Town? Return to present, yay, thank you. Uh, thank you message. Okay. That is officially it. 
We have now done everything we can do in this game. I didn't actually collect the dragon coins, but I've done pretty much everything. And those card things, I don't know where those are. And the music coins, I don't know if I got everyone, I don't know. We've done everything that I care to do. <laughs> and a little bit more. So with all of that said and done, for the last time, thank you all very much for watching. Even though this won't really be relevant information at all in the future, I'd like to reiterate the fact that I've by all means grown an interest in going back to 2011 and trying to finish that game as well, because it probably deserves it. It's definitely better than 2010. Probably won't live up to this one, but it's just to be expected, it's the previous game. I'm there guessing, sorry. If I do so, it won't be right away, because I'm really tired of 2D Mario platformers and I don't want to see one for the rest of my life, but we'll see. <laughs> See, this is the effect that games like this have on me. I like them a lot, but I don't see myself playing them again. And I won't exactly be playing the next one for a while, or in this case, the previous one, you know? But as of late, I've had this pattern of playing Doomsday by myself, but then also I had Rayman Legends with Didrik. I'd like to keep that up. There is a game I'd like to play for you, and for the first time in a while, it's a game that I'm familiar with. I have noticed that as of late, a lot of things I've been playing have been blind or semi-blind or something. And I'd like to try and get back to familiar territory again, where it's a game that I actually know and have things to say about. And then in addition, I also have a game I'd like to play with Didrik. But anyway, I'm sorry for rambling, it's just always a difficult task to have to completely end something and let something go, even though I'm by all means relieved to be done with this. It is also a bit sad. But yeah, thank you all very, very much for watching. And I hope I'll see you later. Have a great day and have a happy new year, even though it's a little bit late for that. But, you know, we're, we're in the new year. Feels like the future now. It feels like nothing can stop us. And then just in a year or two, it'll feel like a distant past. Take care.